The number one question I get asked, and this is when I'm speaking in Dallas or Dubai or Durban, is before you stand up in front of a group of people or before you go live in television, do you get nervous? And I had an experience yesterday because we were taping the TEDx Emory talks and I watched some of the speakers be absolutely comfortable and others get nervous. But before I share some of my antidotes to nerves with you, I wanted to discuss the concept of imposter syndrome, the sense of am I worthy, am I good enough? So first of all, I want to congratulate all the speakers who are going to be in our March 27th TEDx Emory event because somehow or other, each and every one of them says, I give myself permission to be the person presenting this information. And uh, Savannah Hauk is going to be speaking. This is her topic. It's 13 milliseconds, first impressions of gender diversity. And what Savannah has done is given herself permission to be the person discussing this and saying, how can I help enlighten people? One of the other speakers that I'm delighted about is the Air Force veteran from the ABC hit series, The Bachelorette and Bachelorette Bachelor in Paradise, and that's Mike Johnson. And again, Mike's actually be talking about making you better in bed. And he'll dive into the impacts of performance anxiety and how we should reframe our mindset both inside and outside of the bedroom. So whether you're Mike Johnson talking about sexology or whether you're Savannah Hauk talking about gender diversity, all of these speakers go, I have the right to share this information. So if you're listening to this and you go, I want to be a speaker, I want to write a book, but there's so many people who've written about the subject. And I always say to my clients, there may be people who've written about the subject, but not given your background and your story. So that's the first thing. And I also say to people who have a sense of, am I good enough, is it's perfectly normal to sometimes feel inadequate or less than, but the ability to remind yourself that you do have permission and that your story is unique is so important. I also speak about something called your positive emotional memory database. So I'm going to show you a short video that goes into a little detail around having a positive emotional memory database and just some ways of combating the nerves and the anxiety and the sense of- Hello, I'm Nadia Bilchik, a professional speaker and broadcaster. And I speak around the world and I get asked lots of questions. I get asked, who's the best person you've ever interviewed? What was it like to meet Nelson Mandela? And is George Clooney really so sexy? But the question I get asked most, and this is from Dubai to Durban, is before you give a presentation or before you stand up in front of a group of people, do you get nervous? So I'm going to share a couple of tips, a couple of great antidotes to dealing with your nerves. The first and most powerful antidote to nervousness is mental. What is your mind focusing on when you feel nervous? And at this point, I ask you to start developing something called your positive emotional memory database. And what is that? It's a series of positive past experiences that validate you. So think for a moment of anything in the last couple of years, be it a job promotion or getting a job or even watching your child being born. Something that when you recall makes you smile, makes you feel successful, confident and powerful. And as you get nervous and as you face with an intimidating scenario, simply play that video in your mind. And it's amazing how your body will respond. The second thing that I always do is I go to the far end of wherever I'm speaking or to the back end of the CNN newsroom and I do something rather unusual. I take a deep breath in and I go one, two, three, huh! Let me show you that again. One, two, three, huh! Now that's one of those things that you really have to do backstage and not in front of your audience. One of the tendencies when people get nervous is that their voice often gets high-pitched and breathy. So one of the most powerful things you could do so that you don't sound nervous is a series of voice exercises. Very simply taking the vowel sounds A, E, I, O, and U, start with 
with the vowel sound e. with vowel sound i. with vowel sound o. with the vowel sound u. I hope you notice the sound is now in front of my mouth and it's very resonant and round and it sounds deep and I sound relaxed. One of the best antidote to nerves is the three P's of practice, practice, practice. Know who you're speaking to, what you want them to think, feel and do as a result of this communication. And I like to ask a question when I start a presentation. That way, the focus goes from me and the attention goes from me to the audience. So practice asking a question. I've shared a couple of tips with you and very briefly, if you want more detail on any of these, please take a look at my book, Small Changes, Big Impact, which is maximizing your presence and leveraging the power of your personal brand. It is available on amazon.com. So I hope you enjoyed that short video. I also did a TEDx Emery talk called Owning Your Confidence. But really what I wanted to share with you on this Sunday afternoon, evening, depending on where you are in the world, is that you're not alone if you sometimes feel less than. You're not alone if you get nervous. But what I'm urging you to do is to, first of all, comfort yourself with the fact that so many people do. I often have people come to me and they go, I'm having a panic attack. Does that mean I'm going to have a panic attack the next time I give a presentation or the next time I'm in a high stakes meeting? And what I would like to equip you with is the ability to build up inventory of positive past memories so that when you are feeling nervous and you are feeling anxious, you can access those and remind yourself of your success. It's so easy when you meet somebody who is in a higher position than you are to focus on their prowess and their success and forget yours. And one thing's for sure is that everybody has their own journey. And I was just so reminded of this yesterday and just a big shout out to TEDx Emery for putting together a wonderful group of speakers. I will share when the whole program is going to air. It's going to be on March 27th. But as I was listening to all the different speakers from student speakers to people talking about climate change, to people talking about why Disney is such a remarkable company, to sexology and uh, performance anxiety, it really struck me that what all these people had in com common was somehow they had given themselves permission to present this information. And that's what I'd like for all of you is that what is unique about all of us is our stories. I do a lot of communication skills training, and of course I've been doing it about communicating in a virtual world, and I go, I have a unique background because I spent decades behind a television camera and I'm now in front of a webcam. But what's your story? What's unique about you? Because that's an excellent way of combating that sense of anxiety and performance or imposter syndrome, so to speak. So Stephen says, hi, Nadia. This is good information. I remember your class at the Home Depot. I look forward to working with you more. Oh, good. I'm going to post this lovely comment from you, Stephen. And Stephen, you know in my classes that what I talk about is just building up inventory so that every single person has the right to feel a positive sense of self. And sometimes it comes more naturally and sometimes we have to work harder at it. But by using these simple tools, and by the way, that short video that I showed you is available on YouTube. It's called Combat Nerves with Nadia, and there's also Own Your Confidence. So Stephen, I hope to see you in person. It looks like we're getting back to in-person classes, but wanted to share that Sunday night tip for all of you. Start building up inventory of positive past memories so that you can access them, combat imposter syndrome, build your confidence, and give yourself permission. Have a wonderful week.